So that's called the boogie woogie bass line, <clears throat> and it's really common in a lot of rock songs. And I'm going to show you how to play it because it's actually it's not that hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, on your bass, Shmev. You got a four string bass. So this is mine's a five string bass, and it's got one string. This one, the deepest one that you don't have. So I'll just ignore that one and pretend that uh, it's not there, so that we're talking about the same string. So when I talk about the deepest string. Uh, I'm not talking about this B string, I'm talking about this one. That's the string that's the lowest one on your bass. And so we'll just pretend that that's the lowest one on my bass and this one is invisible. Okay. <clears throat> so to start, the first note we're going to start at is uh, your lowest string, your E string, which is my second lowest. So your lowest string on the fifth fret. And that's the one, if you count it up, usually the third fret has a dot and the fifth fret has a dot. So we're going to start there. And we're going to start with the longest finger, the root finger. And we're going to put that finger onto your lowest string fifth fret. Should sound something like that. And then the next note that we play is the next string up, but one fret down. So we go from this string, the next string up, and one fret down. So try that. From the longest finger to the next finger. And then we're going to go up. And this fret here, we play with our little finger, and it's the seventh fret. So we start on the fifth. Go on the next string to the fourth, and then on that same string, we go up to the seventh. And then we go to the next string, like the string before it, on the fourth fret. fret. But instead of going up to the seventh, we just go up to the fifth. And that's the climb. So, <clears throat> fifth fret, next string, fourth fret, next string, seventh fret. Next string, fourth fret, and the same string, fifth fret. So that's how it goes. Oops. So we go up. Same notes. So practice that for a while. That might take you like a day or something like that to do, but... And if you want, if you want to do it like funky and rock and roll, uh, you can make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more animated by doing a double bounce, so... I do now <clears throat> with that double bouncing is just so you can practice that dong da dong da dong da dong with your fingers and then apply it to done that and you've played that little bit, the next part is to start the whole thing only one string up the neck. So here we start on the uh, your lowest string on the fifth fret. Once you've done it, then you just move up to the next string, fifth fret, and do the same thing again, only one string up. back down. So practice that for a while and get that down. And once you've got that down and you're comfortable with it, and really it ought to take like a few days to be able to do something like that comfortably. Then you can just do the da 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 which is fairly simple too. So here's how we do that second bit, though. 
So we'll start from the beginning. <laughs> Now at that point, you're one string up from the one you started on. Slide, you should be on the 4th fret, 2nd lowest string. Slide that up to the 7th fret and switch to your longest finger. So you're down here, you go, hit this one and go, and you're there. Go, next string up, 1 fret down. So from the 7th fret to the 6th, and then up on the same string to the 9th, then back down to the 6th, so, and then from there slide down to the next string down. Oh, actually, sorry, same string, but on the 5th fret. So instead of starting on the 7th fret and doing... You go down now to the 5th fret and do the exact same thing. 4th fret, 7th fret, 4th fret, back to the 1st string, on the 5th fret. So the whole thing sounds like... Oops. Again, only one string up. And then back to your original starting on the lowest string. And from that note, slide up to the seventh fret. And on the lower string here, you do a slide down. Same positioning. And then very right back to the beginning. Comfortably, and I know you like the tapping. If you want to do the tapping, you can, you know. You can do it. I don't think it sounds as good, but maybe if you get really good at it, I'm not. Uh, you can uh, get a good sound going out of that. So anyway, there's your boogie woogie blues pattern, and if you get that going, Denise can probably hop on top with her trumpet and start doing some fun stuff. Have fun with it, play with it, don't get too frustrated. Remember, when it gets too frustrating, it's time to stop. And when it's fun, keep going. And when you're bored, it's time to learn something new. I love you. See you soon.